to prove a parallelogram is not the first time uh, that we are talking about this type of a question, but it is of uh, importance that you understand these typical questions, how are they asked, and according to the diagram that you're also given. So on this part, you're given on question number nine, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram with A, D parallel to B, C. So you're given A, D is parallel to B, C, and also D, uh, B, A, and C, D, they are also parallel to each other. All right. In most cases, we have considered that we were working with A, C, and most cases, I was actually proving using this side, the diagonal A, C. But this is not what they gave us this time. They gave us the diagonal B, D. We are supposed to work from the what they gave us. Use the diagram above. This is the diagram they gave us. So which means we are supposed to use the information they gave us according to how they gave us. So according to this time, we are supposed to be working with the diagonal A or B, D. So like I, 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 like I was saying, I, I, I remember I worked with this type of equation, same type of a diagram, but I used AC. It was like this. I, I had to use this diagonal. But now, it's another something. Okay. So what are we supposed to prove? Okay. Prove the theorem that says the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. All right. And this is exactly what we know about the theorems of a parallelogram. Remember, you're supposed to prove that uh, opposite sides uh, and angles of a parallelogram are equal, but here we're just proving the opposite sides, not the angles. All right, so that is it. Uh, like I said, we talked about this type of uh, a theorem before. Uh, working with the, the diagonal that we are given, I'm going to work with the diagonal BD. Uh, these are the steps that we, uh, we're going to take. Remember, uh, this question is not the first time, guys. We said we are going to take BD as the common uh, side because this is the diagonal that we are given. All right, so given uh, diagonal BD. All right, given diagonal BD. We are going to work with diagonal BD. So we are going to take it as a common side. So we have got a common side there, which is what? Which is BD. So this common side is on two triangles, this triangle this side and this triangle on this side but also not just being common. It is also a special line because it is referred to as the transversal line. It's a diagonal, yes, but it's also a transversal line because of the parallel lines that we have, which makes the angles to be equal. The angle D1 here from the alternate angles, the one that give us a Z to the angle at uh, C, uh, at B2, this one. The angle D1 and the angle B2 will be equal. We have got alternate angles, the one that give us a Z. So this angle at B1, at D1, and the angle at B2 are equal, all right? So there we've got angle D1 equal to angle B2. Uh, so this is not the first time, guys, uh, we talk about this, all right? So these are alternate angles, all right? Considering that AD is parallel to what? To BC. So AD is parallel to BC, okay? Uh, it is the same thing that is happening uh, between D2, the angle D2, again, if we consider this Z again like this, okay, we're creating a Z. So the D2 and the B1 are the ones that are equal. So you're going to see that the angle D2 and the angle B1, they are equal, okay? So if angle D2 is equal to angle B1, uh, okay, well, let us write the reason. Shall we talk about this? These are alternate angles also, but this time it's because of DC being parallel to AB, right? So DC is parallel to AB. Okay. This alone, this information alone gives us a guarantee to say the two figures or the two triangles are concurrent to each other. Remember, that is the condition. Whether we are working from AC, if you check that, that the, the, the class that we, we, we talked about where I used AC on that diagram, the case that you end up with is all about the concurrent figures. You're supposed to give the, con this, this is what they, they want to test you. You're supposed to give the concurrent figure at the end. So this is enough for us to say these two figures are concurrent 
uh, if we take it as B, C, D, I want you to be careful. If I take it as B, C, D, if I take it as triangle B, C, D like this, B, C, D, it means I'm supposed to take it accordingly, the angle B2, the angle B2 is equal to D1. So I'm supposed to start at D1. So this must be congruent to triangle starting at D. Then from B to C, that is from D to A. Then at D, at D, this one, the D that we're talking about is the D2 of this triangle B, C, D, of the triangle B, C, D. Take note, of the triangle B, C, D, this one, the D that we are talking about is this one that is inside, which is the D2. So it is the D2 that we are talking about. So this D2 is equal to what? The D2 is equal to the B. So this must be D, B, uh, D, A, B at the end, like this. So this is what we have. If these are congruent, if these two figures are congruent, it tells us that BC is equal to DA. BC is equal to, to DA. Also, CD is equal to AB. Also, CB, CD is equal to AB. These two are equal. So by having opposite sides being equal, we have proved this. Because this is what we want to prove. Opposite sides, because BC equal to DA. Let's check on our diagram. BC, this is BC, this is DA. These are opposite sides. So as you can see, they are equal. CD and AB, right? CD, CD, this side, and AB, this side. These are opposite, they are facing each other. They are equal. So this is exactly what we want to prove. Opposite sides are equal. Are equal. This is exactly what we wanted to prove. So it's proven. So these were the steps that you just wanted to take, that you're supposed to take. Uh, and like I said, uh, there are so many, like the, the way that you can actually figure out your concurrent figures can be differently presented, but meaning the same thing. So please be careful on your concurrent figures, how you figure out your concurrent figures, and also that from the concurrent figures, these sides, they, they, they are exactly equal. They are, is different. Remember the similar figures, we can talk about equal angles. The sides can be different on similar figures, but on congruent figures, the sides are also equal. So BC is equal to DA. Also here, uh, all these sides that you're given are 